So have you ever had to be reminded about something that's been consistent in your life, something good, something that uh, maybe you took advantage of or maybe uh, you didn't understand uh, was what was making your life uh, what was making things good in your life. Uh, you know, if we are around long enough, we also find that it seems like trends and styles revisit. You know, we're reminded of that trend that happened in the 1980s, or we're reminded of the music from the 1990s, and uh, we think, you know what, I remember how happy I was or how joyful I was in that time. And sometimes uh, life just comes around and reminds us of things that have been good and consistent for us. Hi, I'm Shauna and my husband Pete and I are Golly Family Discipleship. We invite you into our home to come and study the Bible with us. We believe it is the most important um, aspect of discipleship in your walk with Jesus Christ. Um, how are we going to know God if we don't know what his word says, right? Hi. So we are going to um, read 1 John chapter 2 verses 7 and 8 and this is brethren. I write I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light has now shined. So, John is going to talk of, to us about how we are to love one another and how the light of Christ is going to be in us and how um, there should have always been love in us. If we claim to know God and to follow God, there should always be love in us. Um, and he's going to explain to us, and he's even said here, you know, Jesus Christ came and love was made complete in him. Um, this is not a new thing. Love is not a new thing. Loving your brother is not a new thing. And loving your neighbor is not a new thing. It is a consistent thing. It is a good thing. It is a godly thing. It is how we know that we um, have God dwelling on the inside of us because we love one another. Um, that is the command of God. It's our greatest command to love God and to love others. Um, so we have here something that is consistent, something that's been there from the beginning of time. It's an old commandment, but there are times that we have to be reminded. You know, there is a beginning of uh, something new here that John is talking about. It is the church. It is um, the salvation through Jesus Christ. It is the Messiah has come. He has come and he fulfilled everything that he said he was going to fulfill. And here we are. What are we going to do with it? We've been handed this gift. What are we going to do? Are we going to pretend that, um, <clears throat> that we walk in it and hate our brother and sister? Or are we going to commit to it and we are going to live it out and we are going to love one another and we are going to walk in the light and we are going to expand the kingdom of God because God has been lifted up and people have been drawn unto him. We have to make that decision. You know, are we going to follow God's commands? Are we going to know what God's commands say? We've got to read the word. We've got to study. We've got to understand the heart of God and know that he gives us good things and good gifts and he gives us his love and he's always been consistent about giving us his love and he's always been consistent about giving us his mercy and his grace it is about um a relationship with him you know we have been trying to reinforce every day as we have bible study with our children what's the most important thing in life and it's a relationship with jesus christ nothing else will satisfy you nothing else will bring you eternal life it's all jesus um, nothing else will give you the love that jesus can give you that god can give you nothing else will change you and transform you like he can um I would just want to remind you, you know, we will see it. You know, if you live long enough, you know, I look around and see some of the trends that are going on, the colors, the, the outfits that people wear, the, the uh, styles in people's homes, and you just see things being revisited. Things come back around and you remember, you know, oh, I remember that song in the 80s. Oh, I remember that movie in the 90s. Oh, I remember, you know, being a kid and going and doing this and going and doing that. And, and I am reminded of the joy that I had, the innocence that I had. And it can sometimes be such a wonderful thing because it can redirect 
points you back to what is important, back to what is consistent. And um, I'm so thankful that I have a consistent God, one that doesn't change, one that um, it's not sinking sand, it's a firm foundation, one that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I'm thankful that He is the God of love and the God of peace and the God of hope and the God of victory. Um, so I want to remind you that every day you get up, exalt God, encounter God, that you edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and you engage this world for Jesus Christ. Let them know that God's light and love lives on the inside of you. Until next time, may God bless you.